bad things are gonna probably start happening pretty soon. Either from Thirst or from these guys. Nope. Yeah, all right, everybody, welcome to the Indie Showcase with the Birdman. I am said Birdman. This here is Anchor the Blockade Zone prologue. And this one's going to really fall along the lines for you if um, you're into a couple of things, or at least you're familiar with them to some degree. Um, primarily, I can't not mention the uh, big Tarkov influence on this game. You need to be doing a lot of dropping to areas, you know, looking for items. Picking set items up, dealing with scavs out there and zombies and all sorts of Cthulhu-like monsters, because you can probably tell by the main menu. There's going to be a little bit of an old gods uh, feel to this one as well, or influence, I guess. But if you extract out of these zones, you get to go back to your base, build it up, use the items you got to sell off, and, you know, get your loadouts ready for future runs. So, without further ado, let's uh, take it out for a spin. In 2140, a massive meteorite fell from the sky without warning, crashing into the island nation of J, maybe Japan. The people's livelihoods were severely affected, infrastructure was devastated, there was a shortage of survival supplies, and an unknown contagious disease appeared. The residents, in order to survive, had to venture out in search of survival supplies, risking infection. And the strange disease spread even further, given the complete collapse of the Japanese government to protect all of humanity. The U Oh, you wanted to read that? Oh, too bad. No, I'm sorry. You you must have read it in the time allotted to you. If you did not read it in that time, well, too bad, my friend. Okay, cool. I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to know your story anyway. It's fine. <laughs> uh, there's been many situations in the blockade zone recently. However, the Japanese government has been communicating very poorly with us. And the above suspects that they are hiding the situation inside the blockade zone. The natural phenomenon that occurred in the Wafu prefecture this time is a great concern to the whole world. And we have urged the... <laughs> the game doesn't want to tell me anything about it, you know? Just just go in there, dog, and just, just, look, just play the game. You don't need to know anything, all right? Fine. I'm not going to read that. Why? You don't want me to know the story. Oh, man. You gave me quite an interesting character to start off with. It's like you know me so well. Head HP. Oh! For a different pot. No, that's pretty badass. I wasn't expecting that in this type of game, but here we have it. So head HP, body HP. So now we're going through this uh, safe here. And again, very much like in Tarka, you know, you go into these things, trying to keep yourself alive in the process of doing it. You guys didn't give me, I mean, you gave me, uh, apparently, physics, which is great and everything, but you didn't give me anything to carry stuff. Oh. That's, oh, a zombie. So, are they not going to attack me because of the tutorial only? I mean, it's better for me to learn if they actually come at me, you know what I'm saying? Raw meat. Zombie raw meat. I can't imagine that'd be good for me to actually cook and eat, but uh, hey. The sturdy iron door seems to protect something important. It's best not it's best not to try to break through forcefully. I don't got a key though, do I? No. Well then I guess we're gonna have to break it forcefully now, don't we? Would have been nice if we had a little bit of an oomph to that kick, you know? So you could actually hear it. Yeah, it was just basically a practice run. And we get to our extraction zone, and there you go. Car cover in a nutshell, right? Well, without the terminators anyway. So, Agent has successfully evacuated. Plundering ability, loading ability, so uh, you'll be able to level your dudes up, assuming they don't die. If you get to recruit more agents, I guess I suppose they, um, there's permadeath, so... They die out there. Oof, too bad for you, huh? So, click the empty room to build the rescue center. Okay. Rescue center. Up to one agent can be treated at the same time. Oh, so they might actually survive. You can heal them that way. Perfect. Shadows of the Waffle Prefecture 1. There seems to be... A way to stop the natural phenomenon, the blockade. This is blockade, right? It seems like almost like it says blockade, but I think it's blockade. But it's been greatly contained. Commander, we've worked very hard on your appointment, but many of your colleagues are still skeptical about your abilities, especially your fellow students, who may have been, uh, who may have a problem with your bottom of the table grades at the time. Therefore, before the formal investigation, I'll trouble you to prove your ability for us. We can't provide you with much of the way of supplies, but we'll acquiesce. Yeah, you, you acquiesce to everything you do within the blockade. So please earn 25,000 yen to prove that you are self-sufficient. Let's go with, um, have myself a little baby backup right here. Mm-hmm. Maybe a couple of bullets. A little couple of bullets. I take a couple of rations as well. What the hell is this? A guy. 
A pouch-like organ in which some part of the body, which through small can multiply a lot of things? Really? Tactical headphones? Um, let's take ourselves a little armor. Yes, let's go with something small first because I'm not sure if I'm going to get rocked here quick too quickly. So, you know, do a little bit of that. The scenic area or the shelter. <gasps> um, Falcon, maybe you should do. Yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> I'm not if it was just the zombies, it'd be fine, but. There seems to be some scabs out here. Chill, dog. Chill. Okay. Don't worry about the zombies. Dude. Just go after the safes. That's how I think we should play this. Go after the safes, the good stuff. Don't get caught looting bodies and then get rocked by uh, an AI out here, okay? Okay, so like this, we need a search, right? Are we good right now? Are we safe? I think we're safe. What do we got? What do we got? Hurry up. Blueprints, I'll take them. We, we, we look at these things later. I don't care about the lens. We'll, we'll... Ah! Hey. Dog, I just come with me right now. I'll, I'll worry about equipping you later. I pull out the big gun just in case. Okay, that's Zombo. A little box here. A little box with nothing on it. We ignore Zombo, maybe. Hopefully, Zombo, you gonna like make a li uh, life hard for me? Yeah. That was close. What we got? Can meat soup? Take it. Burger. The hell's this? Rest of oil. Cooking. All right. Later. Take it. Just take it for now. We will throw away what we don't need later. I should try to cap one of these guys with my automatic just to see, like, you know, the comparison in terms of, like, firepower. Okay, do we have any water, by the way? I just realized <laughs> I'm not going to be chugging the vegetable oil. I mean, this says moist. Do you think moist will take care of my <laughs> hydration need? <laughs> you know, when I'm thirsty, I just like to get myself a little moist. <laughs> so now we're looking for room 303. Do we have a map, by the way? Yes. Oh, my God. Good. Are you kidding me? This place is huge. Now, another question I got, I just realized, is, uh... Should I have done something for, like, extraction information? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, got, I got no idea where the extraction point is. And I can't necessarily say I'm a, I'm a big seasoned Tarkov player. Okay, this gun is definitely very stronger than the handgun, as expected to be. So, uh, you know. I'm not sure there's any sort of, like, you know, special intricacy involved in terms of I find it. An extract point. That guy went down kind of quick, didn't he? Almost like he had already taken a couple of shots. Why is this door close? It seems like you guys were just coming out of this room. Where am I right now? Okay, I'm like over here. Oh. Should I pop this door open? Okay, I don't I don't have the key for that. There's a there's a box in there though. I'm gonna try to break it. Not strong enough to kick it. <laughs> Salad dressing. Hey, maybe that'll make us moist. <laughs> I'm moistening myself with some salad dressing. What about it? Sorry, Daddy. I don't know who you were or what you were, but I wasn't going to chill here and uh, let you take a shot, all right? Sorry to say. Oh, we popped this dude. You saw how he gasped? Oh, that was pretty cool. All right, you had the warehouse key on him. And gloves? Do I got gloves? No. Now I got gloves. Army pants? We got some pants. Is that more of my ammo, by the way? Because I'm running a little bit low myself, so... An abrupt rune plate, seemingly concealing something dangerous. You want me to unlock this, uh, dangerous thing? No, you're out of your mind. I can't do that. Doesn't even seem like there's anything of value in there. No. No, I don't like it, sir. I'm not gonna do it. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. I... <laughs> Man, 
this guy could have probably gotten the jump on me too. He was kind of loaded. He was kind of loaded. Metal parts. Gloves, ignore that. What do we got here? Military boots. I got military boots. Got tactical. Army pants. Oh, an Uzi. Okay. I kind of want this Uzi, dog. Kind of curious about the, uh, the toilets. <gasps> okay, let's go. We, we at least know where he's at, so that's, that's good. It's a good start. Oh, boys. Maybe some military stuff in there. Did he go into this room? Let's go. Oh, what do you got there, huh? A little, a little moussine? Is that what I'm seeing there? Before we start going through this body, let's make sure there's no other dude around here. This looks kind of good. What we got in here? Bandage. Sterilizer. Yeah. So it's military, um, medical stuff. This makes sense because it's a military drop grade. I would, I will take some, but as you could probably imagine, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm packed to the gill right now and I'm not about to start playing Tetris with my stuff. What do we got in this dude? Another key. B6. We got a B6, so it's fine. Metal parts. Can you stack? Oh, I could put stuff in my safe. Level up. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't have enough for that. We're uh, once again packed to the gills. So at this point, we kill wherever we can. If they got something really crazy, we take it. But right now, our, our main goal is to get to these rooms at least and unlock them. We got to go through. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Where this guy's at? Go up and about. Ooh, that could be pretty big. That could be pretty big. C2 warehouse key. What is it? MP133. Man. No wonder it was coming at me. It was a shoddy. You my boy and everything, but not right now. He's running. We got a runner. He ain't run too fast. He ain't run too fast. He ain't run too far. Got on you. C1. Oh man, they got all the keys here. Bad idea. I gotta, I gotta eat something. Though. White jelly. Why did the white jelly? What, is, what was wrong with the white jelly? That was this specialty mask. Sure. Wrap yourself up. Continue heading our way. I don't know. I don't know what this, what, what I've done to myself. But, but the white jelly, the white jelly led me astray. And I'm very disappointed by it because I was hoping it would make me moist. It did not make me moist. Unless this is what happens when you get moist. And you know what? I regret being moist now. What you got on you, daddy? Any keys? Huh? Got some keys? Keys here. Six. Nuts and bolts, huh? Yep. Uniform mask. Oh, you got the skull one, huh? Oh, come on. Hey, hey. Huh. I, I thought I heard footsteps. Am I tripping? That I heard footsteps, dog. Right, hey, get it, get it over. Yeah. It doesn't even look like the skull there. Whatever. Not just yet. Not just yet. Specialty boots. Uh, load capacity 1.1. Oh, the old lady helmet. A lot of boys. A lot of boys. A lot of boys. I know I took one of them down. The I think maybe a second was kind of injured. Boom. 
Um, out of ammunition in my gun, by the way. That's all we got. What's left over here is all we got. So I need to start looking for a way out. What do we got? Highly alcohol. Refined powder. Inside goes up. Yeah, don't want that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I don't want it. First date's kind of good. Let's uh, continue. I'm hoping there's no more dudes. Now, in terms of extraction, that's uh Could the extraction points be these things over here, by the way? Like in this uh, whatever writing it might be. I'm going to try to head there. Cause I'm getting really thirsty. So, um... <gasps> bad things are gonna probably start happening pretty soon. Very, very soon. Either from thirst or from these guys. Nope. It's 303, huh? I mean, there can't possibly be somebody in here, right? Considering it was a locked door, right? Maybe? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I'm very disappointed. Really, come on, there's there's nothing at all. You know, Ned Flanders meme aside, there's, there's really nothing at all. Oh yeah, there's this, this one here, right? Yeah. Lighter. Cords. Wow. Wow. What a mitzvah. What a mitzvah. All right. Thirst is a concern. This inside stuff's a concern. I think there's two bodies to search on the way up. But let's head up towards that thing and hope that's an extraction point and maybe we get out of here safe. We'll see. You two warehouse key. I imagine there's a lot of these keys because it'd be nice I could stack them, but when you go to different maps, it's going to be like different C2s and those keys will be for those doors and C2s in different areas, no matter what. What the hell? What the hell? Holy... Does my mans die? Arnold, you said if it bleeds, it dies. You can kill it. It's bleeding, but it ain't going down, dog. Arnold, lie. I'm getting out of here, dog. My body's all messed. Body's all jacked up. Don't be dudes here. Don't be dudes here. Extraction? Extraction! It was an extraction point. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Ah! Don't do this to me, dog! I'm out of here! Alright, alright, alright. <gasps> oh, oh, it's not happening. It's not happening fast enough. Lose him. Ah! Don't do it! Hurry! I'm out! I'm out! Oh! <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Oh, the dude! I thought I was about to get got by one of them scabs over there too, because he was like freaking out. He ran up and he saw the tentacle beast trying to, you know, get their H on on me. Oh man! That was pretty good. I, I don't know what triggered that either. What was it? The it had to be it had to with the inside, right? I don't know. Oh boy. Well, there you guys have it. That's been uh, Anchor, I believe. The Blockade. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Definitely keep one. Keep your eyes on it. This is a prologue. It's available to you guys. I'll have a link for you down below. You guys want to check it out for yourselves. And uh, maybe now that I'm not recording, I might be able to, uh, you know, try to take in what the mechanics of the game are. But at least gameplay wise, you know, it's very simple, but fun. And a little bit freaky there at the end. I'll catch you guys next time.